I'm home. Trust me on this one, okay? Plus, I'm the best broker you ever had, and you know it. Did you eat? Fred, this stock is a great investment. Huh? Okay. Terrific. 5,000 shares. Covered as soon as the bell rings in the morning. I look awful. Bye, pal. My skin is turning pea green. Smog. Pizza. What? I said we ordered a couple of... George! Hi, Chuck Yolman here. How you doing, pal? Damn it, nobody ever rinses this thing. Stay where you are. drive like that. That boy must have been going, what, 60 miles an hour. Mom. I mean it. I don't like him. I don't like what you're wearing. What's He's wrong wearing? with you tonight? I mean, first you think he a rapist in the window. Now Lisa, my are... do not change the subject, Lisa. Mom, okay, uh, okay, seriously, don't get mad. Okay, I'm listening. I think you're overreacting. I think maybe it's time you saw a shrink. Now, don't, I'm, no, I'm serious. I mean, he wasn't going 60 miles an hour, you know. Good night. I hate the way she smiled, that damn teenage smirk. She's going down the tubes, Chuck. You know that, don't you? Oh, that's right, Chuck. Ignore me. 
I'm not. I'm trying to read this article. It's okay. I'm used to it. Don't open that. The alarm's on. Yeah. Locked in. Fake air. Look, I know my boy from the big city can take it, but Chuck, I'm telling you, I am from Lake Country. Ah, uh, the glories of the Midwest speech. And try to get my wife. Hello. The assailants proceeded across the street to a coffee shop where they held Hello. hostage before surrendering. Yeah, can you hear me? The weather for the LA Bay yeah. will continue warm. Find out if she can pick up Stevie. Keep temperatures in the high 90s. Now nah, I've been stuck for an hour now. Air quality will be poor for all areas. No. Nope. Not a chance. I'll be lucky to get home by 7. Or unless it. Hello. Hello. Valley Boulevard all the way to the Pomona Freeway. Ten. It's 10,000 down, Mr. Franklin. Rachel. Yeah. Caravan on Tuesday, 11 sharp. When the Johnson escrow closes Thursday. Well, see, First National will give you a mortgage. That's an escrow, yeah. Nine and a half percent adjustable. What? Sure they will. Believe me. Chuck, that house on the lake, what? the Jackson place. Okay, this is crazy, but <laughs> it's for sale. Lake. But I told the agency, Jackson, yes, honey, it's a steal. Uh, and it's probably rotting. Huh? I mean, forget it, right? It's it's ridiculous. We can't just. I mean, we're. It would be totally oh, irresponsible. The place on Tomahawk Lake. Yes. Mm. Anyway, I told them no, absolutely not. Yeah. We're just not interested. You really can't be serious about this. Goodbye, Payne Weber. Goodbye, Dad, L.A. Dad, I just want to be a redneck. Molecule. You know, we ought to get a wood-burning stove. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I still don't believe this. Dad, what's the difference between a chemist and a biochemist? We're well, going to be poor. Lisa, your father is going to make windsurfing boards. Oh, and what are you going to do, Mom, Big Brad? This isn't the 60s. Your mother's going to run the business. Put your seatbelt on. You know, you buy a falling apart shack, you rent a beautiful house in the suburbs to some family that'll for sure trash it. Isa, if we hate it, we will go back next year. I hate it. Can we go back? Put your seatbelt on. Over your mouth.
porch is tilted. They really knew how to build houses in those days. Look at this door. Look at this. Yeah, it's ten feet thick. Beautiful. Water's rusty. this behind for us. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's what happened. That's why they left it turned against the wall in the staircase, Mom. If they want it back, I'll send it to them. Well, Tana's in the country, and she's already a thief. <laughs> you are going to love it here. You hear me? Now, trust me. with a baby like that cop. I'm gonna start him at 550, Dwayne. Somebody could break their neck on it. They don't allow no loud motors on the lake. It doesn't have a motor, Mr. Fennelman. Well, I just thought I'd tell you. We had a couple of city kids last summer, and they tried to set up a speedboat concession. You remember that, Dwayne? Yeah, we booted them out fast. We got rid of them. Yeah. And poor little Kathleen Fitzsimmons. When her sailing boat overturned, it hit her smack on top of the head. Never been quite right since. The boards are foam-filled. Looks like Tomahawk Lake's gonna make you a lot of money. Hope so. <laughs> ah! Hi! Evening, folks. Hi. Evening! We're just passing through. We took a little shortcut through your woods there. Uh, name's uh, Bryce, Malcolm Bryce. Ah, uh, Chuck Yeoman and this. Oh, he knows who you are, Chuck. Uh, you're the windsurfer fella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Word travels uh, fast around here. <laughs> Don't it, though? Say, how about a nice little bunny for your supper? Oh, thank you, no. Oh, it's no trouble. I got a real nice one in here. Sick. <laughs> No, 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 please, no. <laughs> My lady's the same way. Squeamish. Looks like it might cloud up and rain a little bit this afternoon. Getting a little dark up there. Come on along, Malcolm. Hmm? Come on along. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, if you folks need anything, just holler. 
I live right over there next to Dwayne and Ruthie. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Boy, honey, aren't they right off an old cover of the Saturday Evening Post? Mm. It feels like the 1940s. No muggers, no thieves, no locked doors. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel. <laughs> what can I tell you? They're strange. Oh, you dancing devil. <laughs> Give me your answer. Oh, he sings too. Five. Maybe we missed it. I can't be late on day one. Mr. Sloan always forgets this route. Last year he missed Tomahawk Lake 12 times. Excused absences? Yeah, great, huh? Yeah. You claim you picked up a dead body. No, I didn't pick it up. It got stuck on my leg. I dragged the damn thing. And you called me. And just a few minutes later, that body picked itself up and walked away. It wasn't a whole body. Oh, well. Mr. Gilman, sir, you know what could have been was those tall weeds out there. I mean, this leg is full of them. So it was human. I left the thing right here. I went back to my place, I called you guys, I made myself a drink. Is that before or after you saw the body? After. Chuck? Chuck? It's all right, honey. What is it's, going it's on, okay. huh? Hey, afternoon, ma'am. Hello. I'm Glenn Boynton, Sheriff of Tomahawk. This here's my deputy, John Bryce. Yeah. Oh, Malcolm's son? Yes, ma'am. What is happening here, fellas? Well, Mr. Yeoman thought he saw something in John. the lane. There's a dead body here. What? Body. Bodies don't come and go as they please. This one did. Who could it have been? Well, when that woman disappeared last what year. What you probably saw was a log. Blake plays tricks with your eyes. Could have been anything. Boots, jackets. <laughs> During the summer, this place becomes a regular lover's lane. I've come across, well, discarded blouses and just the damnedest things. I saw a body. Mr. Yeoman, I will look into it. But I haven't got much to go on. The 
coming, John? No. I'll walk. Here, honey. John? It's a beautiful view you got here, ma'am. It's fabulous. Real nice. Yeah. So, John, what about that woman who disappeared? I thought maybe it was related to the others, but... What others? The sheriff likes to keep these matters confidential, sir. What matters? Well, ma'am... Murders. Murders? Well, let me take that back now. Um, we can't be certain. I mean, the, the bodies were mutilated. What? Well, so they could have been an animal that got at them. At whom? I, I'd really rather not say. How many? Uh, three. Murders? Bodies, ma'am. Not necessarily murders. I want to thank you for the coffee. Wait, 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 wait. Just when exactly were these bodies discovered? Over the past 15 years. Unsolved? Well, yes, ma'am, but not for lack of trying. Oh, right. I saw how diligent your sheriff is. All women? No, there's one man. From town? Well, no, he was a summer visitor. The others, well... They weren't exactly able to identify the remains. Oh, my God. John, is this place safe? I mean, my, our children. Yes, it, oh, no, this is a real quiet town. I mean, we got an occasional bar brawl here, you know, and uh, Eli the electrician goes off the deep end once in a while, but it's nothing to worry about. And there's Henry Link, who lives over in those woods. Yeah? They say he was always real fond of the military. <laughs> Still is, in a way. Gosh. I really should be going. Uh, Mr. Yoma, sir, I hope this afternoon wasn't too discouraging for you. Oh, it just gives me such a warm feeling seeing how good this place looks now. John, one for the road? Um, so you call me if you need me? Thanks. Let's not tell the kids yet, huh, okay? I mean, till we're absolutely certain. Right, just saw a body. Pieces of a dead body. But... But what? Where did it go? I don't know, maybe... Maybe that's what you saw. Chuck. Ah, oh, Chuck, wait. Get that child to buckle down. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna have to have a teensy bit of that cherry vanilla. I know I shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, sure. Come on, join me. <sighs> now, here's to oh. you <laughs> and your new home. Thank you, Ruth. It's a shame the Jacksons let that place go to pop, though. Of course, they were awful old, and just summer folk got so towards the end they were only here oh, one, two weeks out of the whole year. 
said to my husband, Dwayne, I said, Dwayne, it's just a shame to see that Jackson place going to waste. So, um, you were just telling me, Ruth, about, uh, I mean, I understand there have been some disappearances. Murder. That was murder, pure and simple. There's no other word for it. Now, the men in this town, they like to be real hush-hush about that. Men in this town are like a bunch of old biddies about that. Like Eli and his electrical shop. Do you know that he will not allow a woman to set one foot inside of that shop of his? Now, why is that, I ask myself? That man is not right in the head, Rachel. The last murder was five years ago. No. Honey, it was just last spring. That was an old grandpa, too. Now, why would somebody want to murder somebody that had one foot already in the grave? It just doesn't make no sense. And the one before that was a young bride. Oh, that is the one that just gives me the creeps whenever I think about it, because that body was so mutilated. It's just awful. Now, I have my theories about all this, but, well, my husband, Dwayne. Well, Dwayne. Anyway, I think that there are certain residents of Tomahawk, in particular one Mr. Henry Link, that ought to be watched really close. That's my theory. Shall I freshen that up for you, girl? Oh, no, thanks, Ruth. I'm just fine. So how'd you find out about all this? Certainly not from Sheriff Boynt and that tight-lipped old coot. Well, my husband thought he saw something in the lake. Girl, you have got to have a teensy bit more of that cherry vanilla. Chuck, you got it made. The old lady does the footwork and the PR. You stay here with the men. You guys want some fish? Oh, yeah. No, no, thanks. You get that over at the fish fry stand? Yeah. Tasty, is it? Oh, it's very good. Comes right out of the lake. Mm-hmm. Old Sam catches all his fish right off the dock. We thought you yeomans weren't up to eating lake fish. If you people are going to live around here, you better learn the difference between a log and your imagination. Hold on, Eli. How many fish and chips do you think old Sam's going to sell to the tourists if you start telling them that the fish have been feeding off dead bodies? Damn summer folk. Ought to go back to the city where they come from. What was that? Welcome, wagon. Come on. It's, it's delicious. You're on my property. Okay, buddy. There's no need to point a gun at us. Oh. There's need. Turn around. Both of you. Fast! You got ten seconds to get! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Oh, been taking a stroll in the woods, have you? So, uh, the best thing to do is steer clear of Henry Link. I'll be put away. <laughs> Mr. Yeoman, uh, Henry's got what you might call a territorial instinct. It gets touchy when folks trespass. Touchy? Man shot at us. Mr. Yeoman, 
If Henry had wanted to get you, he would have. Does he live in the woods? Yes, yeah, son, most of the time. Uh, Stevie, why don't you come over here and help me? Oh, I can give you a hand, Mr. Bryce. Oh, oh no, no, ma'am. You, you sit down. I'll, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Trying to make up for Henry Link being so damn ornery. <laughs> I hope you folks are hungry. Oh, yeah. Very hungry. Yeah? Nothing like a good scare to perk up the appetite, huh? <laughs> oh, that is fine workmanship. Yes, sir. Top notch. Did you work on this house, Mr. Bryce? I hear you're a wonderful carpenter. Oh, no, ma'am. I've never been in here before. The Jacksons were kind of private people, you know. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Miss Yeoman. I'll put a bug in Henry's ear. I'll tell him that what he did might be right militarily, but uh, not very neighborly. How you doing over there, young fella? Great. Oh, look at those teeth. Well, that could take a chunk out of you, couldn't it? When you live in the shadow of insanity, the appearance of a mind that thinks and talks like your own is a blessed event. You really are in love. Uh, all right, what does it mean? No, wait, listen, I'll tell you. This guy thought that Tarzan lived in his head, so... Oh. Yeah, so what'd he do? Oh, what? Future, what'd he do? Don't, no, no, no. What? Oh, oh you just want to keep me in suspense. I'll tell you. So tell me. Two crazies at once. Mm -hmm. The Bergman sisters heard voices that told them to chop the feet off people. Yeah? Folly adieu. What's it mean? What? Folly adieu. Adieu. Um, goodbye. No. Goodbye troubles. Uh, hold on, hold on, I'll get it. Uh, uh, Goodbye, feet! <laughs> uh, no! Madness of two stupid, so two wackers, you get it? <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Um, a smart one like me and a zit head like you. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! It's very nice of you. I don't know why I say this. I, 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 <laughs> You're so oh, stupid. You're dead. Oh, you're dead. Happy, you're dead. Happy you're dead. Halloween. Oh, you're you're, 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 you're dead. Tearing her apart, are you? I had me a doctor once. Sun's going down. Yep, the sun gets low and the imagination goes haywire. Blake starts playing tricks with your eyes. Did I ever tell you about the time I seen that Chinese girl? The sundown. I was about the center of the lake fishing. I felt a tug on the line. I pulled hard. I heard a groan. In the water was a woman. She had shiny, soft white skin. Long, dark hair. Beautiful. Hell, I dove off the boat. I pulled her up to the surface. <laughs> Big old blowed out in her too, with a white t-shirt stuck to it. <laughs> To this day, I half believe it was a woman. That she's still out there in the lake waiting to be rescued. 
Well, I guess that's who Yeoman saw, my little China gal. It was a log. Well, that's not what the town gossips say. I don't give a damn what they say. Well, according to them, what you saw was a... I probably saw a log. Yeah. Probably. Burned down. He's dark. I ever find out who did it. Old Dwayne's having one of his days. Man's got to take care of his own, Eli. That's the code of the lake. You gonna be all right here all by lonesome? <laughs> hey, Chuck. You see my little China gal? You tell her Dwayne's still on the lookout for her. Huh? <laughs> no, come on. Hot Chuck, come on. Half a mile to go. <laughs> huh? How's that? How's that? Startling amazing. You big <laughs> hunk. Got the old sound on the back, too. Yeah. Yeah. Care to prove that, sailor? <laughs> How's that? So so. So so. Come see, come so. Uh huh. Men's and men's. Men's and men's. Fair to Midland. I give you fair to Midland. Average. What are you doing? Come on. I'm unbuttoning your blouse. No, no, come on. Run, run. No, don't get carried away, Why silly. Not? Because there are woods. In that case, Sue. Mm. 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 You notice something, honey? Mm. Huh. We're in a pathway here. We're in a pathway I mean, here. <laughs> yeah. ah. ah! Ah! What? <laughs> what are you doing, you I'm getting us off the pathway. Okay. You're serious about this? I'm getting serious. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to. Stop it! Chuck! Chuck, honey. Oh. oh, Chuck, I can't breathe. Okay, just hold on to me. Hold on. Oh, honey, I hold can't breathe. I can't breathe. Sit down. Sit down, baby. Sit down. Deep breath. Just deep breath. Slow down now. Now, baby, baby, listen to me. Listen to me. What? Honey, I want you to go home. I want you to call no, the sheriff. No, I'm yes, not baby, leaving you. Have you. To. No, I honey, can't. Honey, honey, I have to stay here no, with it. No, no, come yes. with me. Come no. with me. You don't. Yes, Why? I do, baby. It's dead. It's a, a dead thing, Chuck. No, it's not going to go anywhere. Well, the last one did. <laughs> well, you have to do this. No, I don't. No, yes, no, baby, I can't. Please, don't please, tell me. Please, let's, please, baby. Let's carry it. Well, honey, no. Come on, yes. No, honey, no. That way we can be together. I... Come on. Use your shirt. We'll, we'll carry it back. Chuck, I'm falling okay. apart. Okay. Oh, okay. God, this okay. is awful. Okay, okay. 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 Oh. Honey, listen to me. Grace, yeah. listen to me. Okay. Listen to me. Okay. Now, honey, you've got to go to the house uh -huh. and call the sheriff. Uh-huh. Okay? Couldn't we go together? No, no. Go. Go. Okay. Okay? Okay. Go on. Oh, my knees. It's all right, honey. It's all right. You're going to be okay. You can do this. Okay. Oh, 
What's that, sweetheart? Oh, nothing, hon. Well, at least you can't claim us all are. We sunk into the business so far. Ten, honey. I told you ten. No, 000. before you said it was. Uh... Oh, right, right, right. Well, because you got to count in the year's lease on the well, shop. That's another eight. Yes, eighteen. And a house in L.A. That's leased until <sighs> September. Next September. Yeah. Well, we can always buy a gun. Be a heck of a lot cheaper than moving again. No, we cannot buy a gun. I won't have a gun in the if house. If we stay Chuck. here, we're gonna have to do something. Then it's back to lops and alarms. So much for the peaceful country life. What's that for? Keep out the live ones. You gonna trap people in it? Isn't that against the law or something? Jungle doesn't have rules. You want to survive, you put politeness behind you. But suppose, like, someone fell in and, well, died. The dead ones can't get you, boy. Anyone ever gives you a choice of, say, uh, sitting down to supper with a sergeant's cadaver or feasting with a live general? You sit with a sergeant because he can't harm you. No, sir. His harming days are over. There's a secret in these woods. And don't you go mouthing off, you hear me? I won't. I've been stalking it. What? Time's not right. It's close by. Uh-huh. <laughs> Boy's eyes. You could be sitting a breath away and you wouldn't know. But I smell him. Maybe I should go. My mom will... Death's too fast for you. She said I couldn't go camping. A person could be walking along with a tune in his head and a smile plastered across his face. You take your weapon, and just so, knocks him down like that. His soul's in hell or heaven before you can blink your eyes. Go on, Stephen. Calls me Stephen. He wants is the truth. Well, the deceased. No, in, in good, plain language, John. He was a man around 60, and he bled to death. Wow. Stevie, was he stabbed? Well, we're not sure. You don't know what the murder weapon was? Well, ma'am, Sheriff Boyington thinks it might be a butcher's knife. But see, the thing is, he wouldn't bury it right away. See, the experts think that he was in maybe a casket or something for at least a few months before he was, you know, before he was left in the, in your woods. You see, Mom, he could have been killed any place. New York, Las Vegas, 
Maybe somebody was stealing caskets or looking for jewels and... <laughs> <laughs> well, enough of this, detective. I'm gonna have some more of Rachel's delicious jam. <laughs> How do you like that bread, Rachel? Mmm. Dan baked that himself. Yeah, my Martha taught me how to take care of myself in the kitchen. <laughs> Is that a photo of Martha? Yeah. Yeah. She would like you. She was special. She uh, always played music, singing, artistic. You remember, Johnny? Always made sure I had a fresh carnation in my buttonhole. Said it looked gentlemanly. Dad, I don't think you should. It's all right, Johnny. <laughs> always worried about my feelings. Yeah, he hates it when I drive up north. That's where it happened, you know. Martha had gone up to visit her mother. A drunk driver came out of nowhere. He was killed instantly. Family album's mighty precious when the loved one's no longer around. Mm. I took uh, this one here when Johnny was just a little bit of a thing. Sweet. Oh, and, and my favorite is uh, right over here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh. I, I put the camera on a timer, and then I and it went around. Boy. <laughs> This is embarrassing, Malcolm. Our album is in such a mess. Really, I don't think we have one good photo of the whole family. Oh, well, now that you're settled in, you can uh, get your album in order. You are settling in, aren't you? I'll have to think. Listen, Dwayne Mortimer is the prime suspect. Oh, jeez, Mom, would you cut it out? Eli. You could have gone with his wire cutter, Mom. <laughs> Come on, Rachel, you've been at this for weeks. It's Christmas. Excuse me. Right. Forget that there are bodies all over our backyard. The guy in the woods died months ago, Mom. Oh, I see. It's okay with everyone that our woods are turning into a cemetery for some madman. Uh, okay, okay, Mom. Wait. Just equal time. It could be Ruth Mortimer. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, Mom. Seriously. What? Seriously what? She killed him with her big mouth. <laughs> what happened to Needlepoint? Somebody move it. What happened to uh, my home sweet home? Oh, they're all suspects. Stevie, it's the middle of the night. What are you doing? I'm helping Mr. Link patrol. Mr. Link. Henry Link is a suspect. 
But, Mother, according to you, everybody's a suspect. Somebody's been in the house. Science Club. Okay. Dad, is there any way you can fix the faucets in here? I mean, the water smells really putrid. Well, we're out of juice. Please remind me, Lisa, will you, honey? This old house is always smell mm -hmm. more. Do you have any peanut butter? our friend mom stevie i'll find link's killer that's a promise whoever did it knows his way around this place the question is why henry link what's the motive maybe he discovered the real killer sheriff yeah this is probably nothing but one evening the kids and i came home and we thought somebody had been in the house does anybody have a key to your house no, no, we had all new keys made when we moved in. Well, do you know anybody who's got, say, a, a grudge against you? No. Not that I can think of. Well, now, Mr. Yeoman, somebody somehow gets through your locked and double-bolted door, empties out the food cupboard, puts the food God knows where, and sticks Henry Link's body into the cupboard where he appears at breakfast. Why? Looks like somebody wants you to leave Tomahawk Lake.
Evening, folks. How's she doing this evening? Oh. Feeling poorly tonight, Martha. Oh, well, sweetheart, you know I come as often as I can. I'm doing my best. No, I'm not getting soft on Rachel. No, hell, I'm doing my best to get him out of here. Do you, do you think I like him running around up there? Never had this problem when the Jacksons were here. Maybe they were here a month, maybe two in the summer at the most. And, huh? I know it's lonesome here, but you, you got the Fosters to keep you company. And... Now, now you're talking crazy, sweetheart. Didn't I bring you that teacher? A nice gal, brunette. <laughs> and you said I was getting too chummy with her, so I had to dump her in the... No, no, sweetheart, don't cry. <laughs> Look, it, it, it's hard for me, too. Hey, how would you like a nice little son and daughter matching pair? Oh, they're real sweet kids. Well, you think about it. Let me know. All I want to do is make you happy, sweetheart. Keep you with me, close and safe, forever. Well. Would have been nice. Lisa rarely snarls anymore. You noticed? She's almost human. And Stevie, deeply into his Swiss family Robinson phase. We were becoming a family. Rach, I don't want to be a stockbroker again. I know. On the other hand, I don't want to get killed by some maniac either. I know. Wait a minute. Yeah. It's the same banister. John?
my banister. He said he'd never been in my house before. Sweet home. Malcolm, I uh, felt faint. Well, I mean, I was uh, walking in, in the woods and, um, uh, well, I knocked, and uh, what I needed was some water, so I just, forgive me, I, I should have waited outdoors. I, uh, my house is your house, Rachel. Did you find it? What? What you were looking for. The glass of water. Yes. Sure. Oh, I, uh, I drank right out of your tap, Malcolm. I was pretty shaky, so I just didn't bother with the glass. I, I should be going. Hi, John. Afternoon, Mrs. Yeoman. Uh, Rachel was feeling ill, so she dropped in for a glass of water. Are you feeling better now? Fine. Just fine now. You do look a bit pale, ma'am. Could I take you home? No, thanks, John, because I feel just fine. Take care. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. Rachel, get a hold of yourself. Malcolm Bryce is not a killer. He... The man lied. He lied, that's all. Everybody... Sometimes... Would you shut up? Get home, will you? And stop talking to yourself. Your nice Miss Yeoman's looking for trouble. You like that Ms. Yeoman, don't you? She's all right. She reminds you of somebody, doesn't she? The way she holds her head up to the wind. Who does she remind you of, Johnny? I don't know. The way she can smile and lie at the same time. I felt faint. Maybe she was telling the truth. She's just like your mother. Foolhardy. <laughs> they look like pretty little things. But inside, there's wickedness. Your mother was the same way. Pretended to like it here, but uh, we had our best moments at the house out on the lake. And she liked it. Oh, yes, she did. She refuses to leave now. Simply refuses. She's learned to love it down there by the lake. And she's changed her ways. She's a sweet, loving little wife now. And. You couldn't ask for a better mother. Could you think of a better mama, Johnny? No. It isn't my fault. She won't chat with you. It's guilt, boy. She recalls that night. Dad? She recalls that night she tried to abandon you. You remember that night, Johnny? You remember when Martha made that little mistake? You watched her tiptoe out the door with moonlight in her hair. Pa! Pa! You cried. Come quick! Mama's running away! Well, didn't I stop her for you? Yes, sir. You were right there. I remember, sir. And... 
and you help me carry her back. Oh, come on, take her feet, son. And you... How old were you, Johnny? Eight. Eight years old, sir. Eight years old. <laughs> and you helped me, didn't you, Johnny? Yes, sir. Yeah. I yeah. helped. Held those little red shoes tight to your chest. It was all for you, Johnny. I did it for you. I know that, sir. I know. Whose blood runs stronger in your veins, son? Mine, or oh, poor little Martha's? Yours. I belong to you, sir. How are you going to prove that, Johnny? Look at me, son. Who's going to carry on for me after I pass away? I will. Keep the home fires burning. <laughs> All by your lonesome. I can do it. No time like the present. Is there? For myself? All by your lonesome. Kill Rachel? Got to kill her. John, you... You think it, too. I have to do something for my father. I know. I know. It'll be all right. I have to. He said... Forgive me. Oh, my poor... You must forgive him. But it's not your fault. Listen. You are not to blame. Then you're not mad at me? Oh, you poor child. <laughs> Mama. My mama. It's OK.
I tried. Not hard enough. She, she kept... Wrapping you around her little finger? Yeah. Yeah, it was her. It was her fault. Well, she kept looking at you with woman's eyes, huh? Uh-huh. And holding on to me. Rocked you in her arms, did she? Yeah. She, uh, she tricked me. I think you liked it. No. Yep. You was easy on her. No. Then why don't I smell her blood on you? I don't know. Why don't I smell her tears? I don't know. What I smell is failure. Yep. I raised myself a son who doesn't have the guts to kill himself one. One! Itty bitty woman all by himself. Yes, sir. I got me a weakling. I'm as good as you. Maybe better. Is that a fact? Yeah. One's nothing. One's not good enough. Anybody could kill just one. You got an idea, son? Where are you going? Come on, you can tell me. No need to be shy. It's time. <laughs> I got a better idea. There's a door in this picture. The eagle's the same. It was right here.
downstairs, Lisa. What's wrong? Shh. Now listen to me. Listen. Sure. You must have cut the wires. Lisa, quick. Go upstairs. Make sure all the windows are locked. You help me down here. Hurry! Hurry! John, thank God. John, come here! 
of them killing my Martha cold-blooded murder they'll pay they'll pay dearly you take the trail I'm going down by the lake Oh, no, no, no. Uh, look, I can't make it. Go on. The answer is no. Dad, I've got an idea. Come on. Stevie! Stevie, wait! Ah. Come on, honey. Ah. Try, babe. That's it. trying to tell you something. This is a trap here, see? Henry and I built it. We've got spears, too. You see, the trick is to get a decoy right over there. See, and the enemy comes for the decoy, and wham, he falls right in. Stevie? He's a real brain, isn't he, Dad? Yeah. Stevie, I want you to reset the trap, and I want you guys to meet me at the lake. Okay, Chuck. Stay with the kids. Okay, honey. All right. All right.
thought I might find you down here. Waiting for Martha, are you? Well, she'll be late tonight. <laughs> Is this your place? Out here in the woods? Is this where you made all your plans? <laughs> Pack light, dearest. Just throw a few things in your tapestry bag. We wouldn't want to make Malcolm suspicious. But what about my boy? We'll come back for him when everything's settled. Oh, I'm so happy now. I'll wear the red satin shoes and the dress you like. And I'll never come back here, ever. You stole my wife. She didn't belong to you. You broke up my happy home. Now you're going to have to pay the toll. If we could freeze this moment. Mm -hmm. So peaceful. Funny. How beautiful it is again. Rach. Mm. You're quite a woman. <sighs> Maybe we'll find a place this nice up north or. Mm, it's too cold. Uh, maybe some nice, quiet little beach town. Sure. We'll find something. Mm. I won't have this view, though. Mm. We're not moving, are we? We can't move. This place is the best. I mean, it never gets boring. Sure. A murder a minute. <laughs> Let's discuss this rationally, Mom. You don't, um, want your only daughter becoming a dope addict. We have to look over all our options. Options? Options? Would you look at this place? Look at it. Fresh air. No smog. No traffic. No crime. Thanks to us, it's crime-free now. Well, we haven't decided anything yet. Right, Chuck? Right. Oh, well, great. Now that it's safe, we leave. Real sensible. It is a terrific view. <clears throat> just, just face it, Mom. It's, it's absolutely perfect. Well, practically perfect. <laughs> <laughs>